Hey there, and welcome to next section about mobile-friendly UI design with Vardin. As mobile-friendliness is usually built with Vardin by creating the own theme, we will begin by having our own declared. Right after that, we'll be concentrating on the responsive extension that allows us to use the width and height ranges within our theme. Finally, with this information that we've learned, we will build a three-stage responsive menu that will look different depending on the end-user device resolution. Let's begin right off by declaring our own theme. All right, let's begin by building our own theme. Within building your own theme video, we will begin by talking about the Valor theme and its API. We will build, we will establish an understanding about SCSS and see how that can be used to customize Valor theme for your application. After that, once we're done with the theme, we of course want to apply that on our app. Finally, we will talk about the Vardin Maven plugins theme related goals and how these can be customized towards better developer experience during the development time of the project. Up until so far, we've been building an example application which we've split into various different modules. One of the modules that we declared is about the widget set, but the same module can also be utilized for creating the actual theme. Themes in Vardin are just CSS that are served by the web browser. If we take a look at our example application, we currently remember that we still have just the home view as well as the customer's view, and right now we're using the very basic Valo theme of the Vardin 8. If we open the inspector and look at the network sources, we see that the theme file is loaded. We see that the theme file is loaded from Vardin themes slash Valo folder. In case we want to customize the theme, we can declare our own, which then will replace the actual theme that is loaded into the web browser. In order to replace the theme with something that is customized, we most likely want to inherit most of the default styles from the basic Valo theme. Valo is actually a very highly parameterizable theme, and if you open, for example, a web URL to vardin.com slash API slash Valo, you can see all the possible different variables that you can customize from the Valo theme. Valo theme is declared as an SCSS theme, which is a superset of traditional CSS. This superset allows you to use different types of functions as well as variables and nested structures that make building and declaring CSS much more easy. You don't have to be a real CSS expert in order to create themes with Vardin. This is mainly due to the high parameterizability of the theme. In order to build our own theme, let's first tackle the widget set project and the theme part of that. What we require is that in our PomXML of the widget set project, we declare a couple additional dependencies. Initially, we only had the Vardin client as provided scoped so that we were able to compile the widget set as well as the Vardin Maven plugin declared that allowed us to run different types of goals of the plugin during the build stage of our widget set project. From the section 2, we remember that the compile goal was to do with the widget set as well as the compile theme goal was simply to do with the theme combination. So the additional dependencies that we require are the actual Vardin themes package as well as an SCSS compiler that has been developed for Vardin especially. You can use any SCSS compiler you want, but due to licensing and other restrictions, Vardin decided to build their own SCSS compiler that is included with the framework. The dependencies that we require for compiling our own theme are the traditional Vardin themes dependency as well as the SCSS compiler. So the group ID for the traditional Vardin themes is of course the Vardin, and the artifact ID is the Vardin themes. As we're using the bill of material, we immediately notice that the versioning information is correctly set for our theme. In this case, we can also use the provided scope for the theme as we don't necessarily want to import this theme into our eventual deployment artifact based on just using the widget set, but rather we can leave the option open for the 
developers to declare if they really want to depend on Vardin themes or not. Another dependency that we require is the actual theme compiler. That can be found from the same group, Comvadin, and the artifact name right there is the SCSS compiler, and its version needs to be declared to be 0913. If we then take a look at our Maven dependencies, we see that we have the Vardin SCSS compiler as well as the Vardin themes listed right here. Right now we have correctly set up our required dependencies for compiling themes. What we should be doing next is that under our source main resources folder of our example widget set, where we already have the Vardin folder, we declare a new folder called themes. Under the themes folder, we should have any folders with any names that we want that will directly map with the names of the themes that we can use in our application. In this case, we can simply have an example folder. As I mentioned at the beginning, we want to inherit as much as possible from the already declared Valo theme. So in order to do this, inside the example folder, we have declared a couple files. These files are now the styles scss, example scss, add-ons scss, as well as variables scss. As we want to inherit as much as possible from the original Valo theme, we are importing the Valo theme into our own customized version of the theme in order to be able to use it up to its full extent. How we do this is that in our styles.scss file, we declare that we are importing our example scss, which is actually the base of our own customized theme. In example scss, we are importing the Valo scss file and after that declaring a mixin for the name example, which is now our example theme. Inside of our example mixin, we simply include Valo. In terms of scss, this means that the import coming from the Valo scss file, which is now declared in the Vardin themes dependency that we included into our Maven Palm, declares a mixin like this, but with the name Valo. Hence, we can then include the Valo mixin into our example mixin. As we are using SCSS, we can also import other files. For example, here I am importing variables SCSS from a file which is in the same folder as the example SCSS. The variables file is currently completely empty, but it allows us to position any type of Valo variables with any types of parameters and values into it with whatever we want. The fourth file that I mentioned is the add-ons SCSS, which declares add-ons mixing. Currently, there's nothing in here, and this file is actually generated one. It means that whenever we might use any add-on components in our project that might declare their own theme, when we run but in Maven plugins, update theme goal, it would automatically look up for all such add-ons from the class path that have declared that they are using an SCSS capable theme. In that case, these mixins would automatically be imported and included in this add-ons mixin. If we look at the file hierarchy from Eclipse, we see that we have all these four files in the same example folder. The main file is always called styles scss, and the styles is the entry point of the theme. By convention, styles should still be kept as clean from the additional declarations as possible, and most of the things should only be imported here. This means that everything that we actually want to use should be either imported directly into the styles or as imported as the Valo SCSS, things could also be included into the example mixing. So how would we then use this theme? Using this theme is such a process that it requires that the Vardin UI that is using the theme knows about its name. 
So in this case, we will have to tell our Varden UI that we want to use the example theme. This can be done quite simply in our example UI by declaring a theme annotation. The theme annotation will then have a value called example. This is everything it takes to have Vardin understand that it will look up for a theme with styles CSS file from the example folder. It doesn't matter in which module the theme is declared from Vardin point of view in this case. But as we're now declaring it in the widget set module, it's a logical place for the file to exist together with other dependencies that are not especially required on runtime, including the CSS compiler.